I'm Aubrey from We Make Movies. Now that you've been experimenting with shooting professional quality content on your smartphone, the next step is to dive into some post-production. First, you'll need to get your Filmic Pro clips off your phone and onto your computer. We're gonna be editing our footage on a Mac. And one of the benefits of staying in the Apple ecosystem is you can easily airdrop your clips without needing any wires or even Wi-Fi via the Files app already on your phone or via the Filmic Pro library. We're gonna cover both methods in a minute. AirDrop will convert your files to H.264, so there is some very slight loss in this process, but this wireless transfer can be extremely convenient when shooting on the go or outdoors. AirDrop does not require Wi-Fi in order to work, but Bluetooth does need to be enabled, and your Mac needs to be listed as discoverable. So to start AirDropping via the Filmic Pro library, Open up Filmic Pro and hit the play button to open up the clip library. Tap the selection button and the clips you want to transfer. You can select as many as you like or long press the selection button to select all. Hit the share square next to open up your destination options. Select AirDrop and you should see your Mac listed. If not, double check you have allow me to be discovered by everyone turned on in your finder AirDrop window on your Mac. Select the devices you wish to transfer to, and then make sure you also hit Accept on that device. A perk of transferring files from within Filmic Pro is the ability to easily filter your clips by hitting the Filter By button on the left side of the library menu. You can filter by resolution, favorites, or frame rate. Depending on the amount of clips or file size, this process can take a while, and you may need to plug in your phone to not drain battery life. The second option is airdropping through the Files app that comes standard on your iPhone. Once open, hit the Browse button on the bottom right and then On My iPhone. Find the Filmic Pro folder and open it up. To select the files you want to transfer, tap the Select button in the top right, and then tap or swipe your finger along the videos you want to select. You can also tap Select All in the top right-hand corner. Just make sure not to select any folders you see, because only video clips can be transferred. And if you don't see the share square in the bottom left, then double check you don't accidentally have any folders selected. Tap to unselect if you do. And then hit the share square and then airdrop to start transferring. While a wired transfer can be faster and with less loss, the downside is you can currently only transfer one file at a time if your operating system is Catalina or higher. However, if wired is your only option, Connect your iPhone to your Mac with a lightning to USB cable. Enter your passcode or hit trust this computer if asked. As I mentioned, if your Mac has upgraded to Catalina or above, you can't currently transfer using file share in iTunes. But now your phone does show up just like an external hard drive in your Finder window. Once you find your smartphone listed on the left-hand side of the Finder window, click on it and then click trust once again. Once the data is loaded, scroll over the top tabs to find files. Click the down triangle next to Filmic Pro, open a second finder window, and create the folder in the location you'd like to save your files. We recommend the Movies folder. And then drag and drop your files one at a time into that folder. Once you have your files transferred, you will be ready to import into iMovie or Final Cut Pro 10. Check out the next video on how to get started on your post-production process.